Here's how to boost FPS in Roblox running iOS. Now, if you have an iPhone or an iPad and you want to increase the frames per second, I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing we'll do is head into the Roblox app itself. Now, in the app, we need to open up a game. It doesn't really matter which game. Let's just open up this random one and hit play. Now, in this game, we'll go into the settings. So tap on the Roblox icon at the top left here, and then we'll tap on settings. All we need to do is scroll down, and what you're looking for is the graphics mode. If this is set to automatic, you want to manually adjust it. So tap on where it says graphics mode automatic, switch it to manual. Now, if this is bumped up a lot, essentially this means the graphic quality will be really high, but the frames per second or FPS will basically take a hit and decrease and there might be some lag. So we want to turn this graphic quality all the way down to the very bottom. After we've done that, let's hop out of the Roblox app and we'll go into the settings here on your iPhone or iPad. On here, we're gonna scroll down and tap on accessibility and do a couple things in here. The first thing we're gonna look for is motion. Tap on motion. And at the very bottom, you can see limit frame rate. This sets the maximum frame rate to 60 FPS. But we wanna turn this off so that we get increased FPS and it doesn't limit it. We also want to turn on reduce motion. This will help your iPhone process all of those frames in a quicker fashion and not have lag. The next thing we'll do is we'll go back and we'll tap on display and text size here. Now on here, we're gonna turn on reduce transparency. We're gonna turn on increase contrast. And we're also gonna turn on the either smart invert or I like classic invert. Essentially, this will turn all of the colors to a specific scale, or you can tap on color filters and just have this be, for instance, blue slash yellow and turn this intensity all the way up. By doing so, you limit the colors on your iPhone screen, but increase the FPS by doing that and you're good to go.